Bev's um, mess with Iran is getting worse, and here's what Adam Schiff proposed that we should do on, the, uh, on what we should do about it. The deliberations that went into the deliberations that went into um, 45's decision to assassinate Iranian General Soleimani are looking more slapdash and reckless by the hour. What we're now seeing will require House Democrats to make a serious and sustained effort to get to the bottom of, uh, bottom of it all. And guess what? We may soon get just such an effort. Representative Adam Schiff, who's, who's a Democrat from California, who chairs the House Intelligence Committee, said in an interview that he wants to see the House hold open hearings on multiple aspects of this spiraling situation. I think there should be open hearings on this subject, Schiff told, told, um, um, told the person that he, that he was being interviewed by. The, the squatter has put us on a path where we may be at war with Iran that requires the Congress to fully engage in this situation. And here's the latest. New reporting... Um, has revealed deep internal skepti skept um, skepticism over the intelligence uh, underpinning the assassination's um, s stated rationale. Iran just announced it will no longer abide by restrictions in the Iran nuclear agreement, revealing the profound folly of 45's withdrawal from the deal, given that Iran had previously been complying with it. Meanwhile, 45 is firing, firing off the sh um, deranged um, Dr. Strange Libyan tweets threatening to strike I Iranian cultural targets which is considered a war crime, while blithely asserting zero obligation to inform Congress of any future attacks. On 45's um, unhinged threat of war crimes, Schiff ordered an, an interesting but overlooked point. He noted there was no chance that, that 45's threats to bomb Iranian cultural sites or his related threat of disproportionate military responses to future Iranian attacks reflect any actual planning in the Pentagon. None of this would come out of the Pentagon, Schiff um, told the interviewer, absolutely no way. That 45 is threatening to deploy our military to commit war crimes in a manner entirely severed from real-world military planning is deeply ab abnormal and must not be allowed to slide by as just as just 45 being 45. This is what the hearings would accomplish if they do it. In open, in open hearings, Democrats could seek to grill Pentagon officials on whether 45 threats represent real planning, which they surely do not, and on whether, in their view, such threats could recklessly lead to a more ne negative consequences. Another thing that could be explored in open hearings is how this decision was made. Told um, the interviewer that the intelligence he has seen, as part of, of a briefing of select congressional leaders on Friday, does not support does not support the decision to kill Soleimani. I'm, cert I'm certainly not satisfied that the intelligence supports the conclusion that the killing of Soleimani was going to either prevent attacks in the United States or reduce the risk to American lives. Schiff, Schiff said. If anything, that risk is going to go up, not down. Schiff continued citing the news that the Iraqi parliament has voted to expel U.S. troops from Iraq, which could compromise the fight against the Islamic State. A lot of these actions were predictable, and the long-term consequences could, e could be even more grave. Open hearings are also, ne are also necessitated by reporting that reveals divisions inside the administration. As to whether the intelligence dictated that Sul Soleimani's killing was needed to stop an imminent threat, Adam Schiff said intelligence he has seen would likely prompt internal dissent. I don't think the intelligence was was the was the um of the kind of character that would lead to, um would lead to a uniform recommendation that Soleimani should be killed. Schiff told me. I think that was an impulsive judgment made by the president, or squatter. Sorry. Indeed, open hearings could explore whether the decision shows that, that at this point the deliberative process is basically broken. I fear that this is the result of the squatter purging anyone of, of stature who could stand, who um who would stand up to him. I think this is the result of a dysfunctional, dysfunctional and non-existent national security council pro um, process. Schiff added that 45 is making decisions by the seats of his pants while he's on vacation at Mar-a-Lago. Um, the House also must now move aggressively to curtail 45's war-making authority. The administration has claimed the Townsend II authorization for the use of military force as its authority for killing Soleimani, which is absurd since that's focused on Iraq. Former President Barack Obama also employed similar, similar, similarly um, absurd justifications for his own military action. Um, the House also must know now more aggressively to curtail 45's... Um, Uh, hold on. So the House can now vote um, to repeal the 2002 um, U U AUMF and to sub substantially revise the 2001 AUMF, which authorized force against the 9-11 perpetrators. They can also pass a measure introduced by Representative 
Ro Khanna, who's a Democrat from California, that prohibits future hostil hostilities against um, Iran without congressional authorization. Schiff told me he fully supports such efforts, and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has announced that something constricting 45 would ever be voted on this week. Open hearings could help build a support for such measures and could involve other commitment committees, such as armed, armed services and foreign affairs. Some Democrats have argued that by casting light on 45 slipshod national security strategizing and decision-making, such hearings could complement the ongoing impeachment process. If 45's decision-making grows more unhinged, hearings could play a key role as well. Hearings can be a way to remind, say, the Pentagon leadership that they, that they have an obligation to refuse to carry out illegal, illegal orders from the squatter. Josh Shafetz, author of a book on Congress hidden powers, um, said, Shafetz noted that Democrats could pe press Pentagon officials to reiterate that they are obligated not to carry out such illegal orders, and then press them on whether, say, an order to bomb Iranian culture sites would be illegal to get them on record in advance. If you don't think there's a reasonable chance that 45 could issue such orders, you haven't been paying attention.